Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. And uh, welcome. It's me, Wingish Nibe, Mujanki Kwe. Yes, your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman. Also, Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. Welcome. All you beautiful divine beings right here, too. How goes it with you? Yes, Tuesday. I miss, I miss the Monday, huh? But, oh! I had some things going on this weekend with my children. Had a good weekend with my children. That was so beautiful. Oh. You know, and other things going on here. It's, uh, it's kind of tough. Kind of get out of an abusive relationship, especially when it's a psychological abusive relationship and the ex is such a freaking charmer. Oh my goodness. Charmed even people that have known me. Even longer that they believe things that... But then it's easy, you can twist things, and now oh, when they do this, it means that, and that's that's a issue that I'm having instead of believing me. But then I have a hard time getting those words out. Structure, I've uh, totally seen uh, myself in the autism. Uh, totally this neurodiverse brain. <laughs> and it becomes more obvious every day for me watching these YouTube videos online, but then it's hard because then it's not taken seriously. I'm not taken seriously. And the ones that then pay the cost for that, especially nowadays, because mom's not being taken seriously, my children. My children are being dragged through it because, well, excuse me, I don't articulate in the same ways that other people do. Um, I can, I can read stuff and research stuff, so looks like I know stuff, but <laughs> I don't. And then I ask a lot of questions. I've annoyed people with the questions that I ask. And then when you're asking and you're questioning professionals, seasoned professionals, they get up upset that you question their credentials and they reprimand you for that. And how does that help with victims of abuse? Because, you know, sure, the, 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 the accused, right, the potential perpetrator, whatever that is, they're, they're innocent until proven guilty. Yet the victim has to prove that they were a victim. How, how backwards is that? And then who? Who's paying the cost of that? The children. The children while they're children? And then as they grow up, the children in these adult bodies paying the costs for those other ones trying to protect their reputations. Never mind, let's throw the kids under the bus. Let's do this because, well, this one's more charming. We love the way this one flashes their eyes better than that one. So we'll, uh, you know, once professionals pick a side, they have a bias. Because not all energies are going to go together. Just because maybe you don't like somebody's personality or attitude, that doesn't mean that they are, oof, okay, now there's everything true. All the bad stuff said about them is true. Just because you don't like somebody doesn't mean that they're guilty. Whatever that is. I don't know what that is for you. I don't know how that goes. There goes my phone. Sorry, I'm making appointments and stuff here today. Because there's some things that are just not following along. So I got to stand up for my children. And also, anybody else going through these situations. I take it very seriously. I take it very seriously. You know, I was never able to stand up for myself. Now, it's not just for myself. I stand up for my children. Anybody else going through this crap? You've been through that? That the system? Oh, by their policies and all that? Oh, so many people judge and judge and judge about the system. But have you ever been a victim of the system? Not the victim. Have you ever been at the mercy of that system? Have you ever been judged by that system? Have you ever needed a hand up? And then got treated like you're just looking for a handout. Treated like you're something that you're not because of the few few bad apples in there. The ones that, that took advantage of the system. And hey, why? Because maybe the system took advantage of that. Right? And then we get this perpetual, this payback, 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 right? Or they pay forward the abuse and not, and not the peace. Right? Adults fighting worse than the children and then what are the children seeing what example do they get right how do they feel and yeah, they hear hear a parent bashing the other parent or anybody bashing their parents how do they feel that is half of them they could love 
Oh, jeez. Things were to happen. I told my kids, even if the, their, their father was to go to jail, I'd still bring them to visit their father in jail. But I don't have a popular opinion of that. But I think jail just makes things worse. You know, you go in there to study how to get your crime, do your crimes better. Oh, oh, I got caught. A lot of them think, oh, it's the getting caught that was the problem, not me doing the crime. It's that getting caught, right? So, yeah, it didn't happen if you didn't get caught. You know, too many like that. That's being taught to my children. That they get mad at me, that I catch them doing something they're not supposed to. And excuse me. Is it mom's fault for giving you trouble or your fault for doing the thing that got you in trouble? Right? So right from little, we need to take responsibility. And do we as parents go in and, do you know, do our children and fight our children's battles or teach them to speak up for themselves? Do we go in there and try to mediate in between every little, every little squabble or dispute? Or do we let them try to work that out for themselves, give them those tools, problem-solving tools, whatever that is? But they're watching us. How do we handle our issues with others, right? Do we sit there behind each other's back on blah, 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 Do we look at each other and say, look at, okay, I need to speak with you, whatever that is. Or do we go through the children? What is that? Do we pass on our wisdom to our children or our bitterness? Are you passing your wisdom to your child or your bitterness? You having your child continue your disputes against something else, the family feuds? If you, you know, some of us are continuing. Well, the Hatfield and the McCoys, right? <laughs> right, right. Some of us are continuing. Oh, we just, we just don't like this family. We have no idea why. But our great, 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 great to the hundredth great grandfather didn't like their, 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 their grandfather. So now we're all fighting. I don't know. Is that above below within? Believe us what we did. Okay, what are we at? 710. 7-11, it just said. Okay. Let's do this. Spread them around. Trying to go quick now. Got some things going working out. Had my next chiropractic adjustment that was very cool. Very cool. Right, got the right chiropractor too. Because here in this chiropractor, we align not just your body and your spine, but you know, the mind, the heart, mind, and the spirit, it all comes together. <laughs> my follow my spirit and said to come here. I did another one um, called the spinal networking. That was more of the spiritual thing. Like this is actual physical hands-on chiropractic, you know, moving those things. But I do, I respond to that spiritual. That's where it begins, right? Begin within. What is that for you? I don't know. Let's look. We got challenges in our lives. We're up against things it seems like we have no control over. It's hard. Policies and all that. You know, acting like they're there to protect the people, but really they separate the people. Right? They divide and conquer. That good leadership brings us all together. How can we do that in ourselves and letting that lead in our lives? What are we letting lead and guide our lives the fear or the love do we are we coming from places of love or the fear right do we hang on to relation we're afraid of letting go hmm right sometimes it does more damage to hang on than to let go i'm thinking of a, a post that i saw on the facebook where it's the hands holding on to a rope right when the rope is pulling right the longer you hold that the more it's ripping apart your hands so it's going to hurt more do more damage the more you hang on to that sometimes just letting go we gotta let go we're gonna have some rope burns there but it's not gonna get any worse the same like pain when you put your hand down on that hot burner the pain is there to say hey take your hand off if we didn't have those pain receptors but we'd melt our hands off whatever that is for you so let's look at that it's all we can do it is within it's our reactions our responses how how and we need to do a reset sometimes. Reset, revamping of these old systems. We know that they're broken. We can go on and on and on about how broken they are. But what can we do now to change it? It all begins within. What we can we do in our own lives, in our own beings? Whew. 
Yeah, we take one from the wisdom sign and one from the childhood. Yeah, open. Here we are. There. The parallel, the celebrate, that sharing, the quickening. That's when we can see. We have a look at our boundaries. We can look at that. And sharing. Sharing what we've learned from this. Seeing how our boundaries... Oh, are they keeping us locked in? Because boundaries are good, but they can keep us locked in from exploring. Or maybe we don't have any boundaries. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we were taught we didn't because we were kids. You're not allowed to have boundaries. You just got to do what I say. Do what you're told. Put up and shut up. Children are to be seen and not heard and all these other kinds of things. Shut up or I give you something to cry for. What are those things? And then what kind of boundaries did we create for ourselves out of that? That restricted us maybe. It was restrictions that we had. We keep getting these restrictions, and how does that free us? Then what do we feel? We're feeling pulled in, pulled in, pulled in. Well, what's going to happen, right? Just like some of the stories of that creation or that Big Bang, right? Things contracted, 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 so small until you can't. You're true. You can only put so much, contain so much of that power in there before it goes <laughs> and shines out, right? That baby. You know, it only gets so big in that womb, and then it's got to come out. You know, we go through those tunnels to the lights, passing through those waters. The birth waters, end of life waters. The waters is life, right? Huh? Is that? So what is that that you're sharing? Are you sharing your fears? Right? And then we keep focused on those fears, and that gets that quick, that heart is beating from fear instead of that excitement. Or do we calm that down? No, these boundaries help me to stay safe. Maybe, maybe you were told you weren't supposed to have boundaries as a kid, that you weren't told that this human body is yours. Nobody's allowed to touch that, that you give permission and consent. What is that? Were your boundaries crossed? For me, I had some good, healthy boundaries, and they were picked at so much that I started to feel like, uh-huh, that poor baby. You know, I look back now, and they were strong, healthy boundaries, because I didn't take no shit. But then others whittle them down, whittle them down. And we do. We repeat those patterns. What do we continue passing on to our children? What are we continuing in our own lives? Because we saw we didn't need boundaries. We don't know where we end and others begin. Right? We have to see. Yes, we are all connected. And we're all in divine, you all. Right? We're individuals too, in divide. And we got to bring that all together to see what our unique expression is. Right? And sharing that gift from there. Otherwise, are we going to take it from somebody else? We sit there whining and jealous about somebody else because they seem to have got it. But we don't. But we're not looking at our own selves. What is that? What is that? Do you get miserable and want people to join in? Do you keep looking for somebody to blame? Right? Hey, you're part of it too. You're half of every relationship that you're in. What are you bringing to those relationships? Not about what you can get from them. What are you bringing to those relationships? Right? And if there's one still drained, that's where we discern. We have those boundaries. What are our deal breakers? We got to look at that each in our own selves here. What are those deal breakers? What about sharing those stories? Because the abuse's biggest ally is people keeping silent. Right? The abusers are counting on their victims, staying quiet and not talking to anybody. Because then they can spread their own little stories out there. And I'm one that stays quiet. Stays quiet. And I got to figure out that balance of now talking. Right? Because I'm about, well, you know, I'm not one about pressing charges or anything like that because I see the messed up justice system is not really justice at all. But that, that then they're going to have to go on to the creator one day. Whatever happens over there, that's between them. They have to live with that. It's not for me to go put punishment on anybody else. That is not my job. My job is to live fully holy to me. Who's that? Well, I'll call you back after. That's my PSW calling to set up for my shower. To call them back in a second. So let's reflect on that. Go a little deeper dive inside. Look. Inside. I better put this down to the pause, actually. That's what I'm going to do. She calls again. I'll pause. Deep reflections. Within, excuse me, good pause, excuse me. Okay, there we go. I got that set up. She go and see somebody before me. Otherwise, I would have been here in 10 minutes. And I don't think I'll be done this in 10 minutes. Right? We just got the first one here. So let's go on.
Doing that deeper dive within, reflecting on this, reflecting on our own lives, what we picked up as our beliefs. What are we continuing? That's especially important. What cycles, what are the toxic cycles we are continuing? What have we accepted and taken on for ourselves and become those little inner critics or outer critics, those outer critics that became inner critics, whatever, deep dives, deep dives, excuse me. Too much thought. Okay, looking deep, deep inside and looking at that. What is that? I can't see. My hand's in the way. <gasps> Counting those coups. Look at those victories. And look at the deception. What, 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 what were we taking as a victory that really wasn't? How were we deceived? Because we thought this was true. And now we're looking beyond those veils, right? And as we see, that's a victory. We got up this morning. We made a victory. <gasps> we caught on to this cycle and we chose not to repeat it. Yes, that's a victory. You have survived everything you've gone through. 100% of it, right? You're here now, right? Maybe we're still struggling and we're still healing with that. Maybe we're deceiving ourselves saying that we can never, we're, we're, we're beyond repair. Maybe that's what we're looking at. Or we think these boundaries were keeping us safe. We built up these walls, but they're not keeping us safe. They're blocking us in. Mm, they're blocking in our true light. So what is that? Are we trying to block out that badness? But when we're blocking that out, everything gets blocked out, even the light. But we can't really truly separate. So what is that? Every time you see past a cycle, every time in yourself, not that you see it in somebody else. That's not victory, okay? That's a deception. It's not to go and point out who's repeating those cycles in the family, who's doing worse, and blah, 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 blah. Again, let's stop that judgment right there in our own families. It begins with him. Stop that judgment with ourselves. Of course, because if people are comfortable living this way, they're not going to like that. They're going to kind of keep bringing you back until they're ready to look at it in themselves. And we can't. We can't. We can shine a light on these deceptions, but it, those with the eyes to see will see it. Those who are still closing their eyes, they want to keep looking this way. I'm not looking over here. I'm not looking over here because I'm benefiting over here when I don't look over here. Because if I look over here, I might actually feel bad for how I have been benefiting over here when such some people have been so dumped on, stepped on, you know, Oh, we got mountains to climb. Let's load up these bodies and climb up these bodies. Whatever that is for you. Let's look at that and see past. What are those victories, right? History books are written by the winners. Are they going to tell how they lied and cheated to get that victory? Because they want you to listen. So are they going to share the whole truth, right? And the lies will tell you so many truths so you believe that one lie. The best liars always have truth sprinkled throughout it so that they can convince you even more. They can study. Oh, some of them, I call them, it's like method actors. Method actors, they dive right into that character and they could fool you. Oh, well, they can. So let's see past those deceptions. Let's not be hard on ourselves because once we see through it, that's a victory. So then let's celebrate that we saw through. Ah, that's a victory. I saw through this. I'm not falling for that anymore, right? That's how we turn that hindsight into foresight, right? So we don't keep repeating these same relationship patterns. Familiar is not always the best, okay? So let's look at that. And then we act from that place when we've seen beyond, we've seen and we've removed these boundaries or we've put some boundaries down, whatever that is for you, whatever. And maybe there is some. Maybe we need to do a little bit of both. Loosen up on some boundaries and to tighten up some others. I don't know. What is that for you? Look at that in yourself. We take that action. Take that action from that place of wholeness, from who we are, from that place of, hey, I'm sharing the best parts of me. Because if this helped me, maybe it'll help somebody else too. But I'm not going to go out there and say, oh, it's you that this needs to help. I'm just putting it out there. And who needs to hear it will hear it. What is that? Who needs to see it will see it. I live by example. No shooting on anybody, okay? Especially yourself. Especially yourself. That's it. The internal time. And we take that action when we feel that call in our heart. That's that victory. We learn to tune into our own. Heartbeats. We let go of all those secrets that held us back because secrets are not good. 
Secrets are not good. Unless it's about a present that you're buying, a surprise party. But overall, no. Secrets are icky and yucky. And that, and you know what? That the lies, the truth, anything that's been trying to keep hidden will come out. That's the rhythm. That's internal timing. It's divine timing, not our timing. Everything that's in the dark will be brought to the light. Right? Because the dark is not the absence of light. The light's in that darkness, too. The light is you. So see past that. Be the light in the darkness. What is that for you? Hmm. But we're looking at it. That's into divine timing, not our timing. We can't make secrets come out. Maybe we've seen, okay, these secrets are hiding. They're destroying people, blah, blah, blah. And we speak out. We get those activists. But ever, whatever we're against, right? What you resist persists. That's where I'm being, you know, I'm against these policies. No, no, I'm for changing the broken system. I'm not against the broken system. I'm for change. I'm for renewing, and bringing new life to these broken systems, to these things that have been hurting more than helping. And that'll be a victory when we can finally see through that, when all the secrets are brought into light, especially the people in power keeping those secrets. Right? Think, are they really protecting the people or protecting their power and their reputations? What is that? It's that timing. Oh, all liars, all that will fall. It's not up to us. It's not up to us. Hey, and if we're lucky, we got a front row seat to see that. But you know what? If we're truly kind of coming from that loving place, we won't get enjoyment even seeing our abusers getting hurt because we'll know they were repeating patterns too. What happened to them? What was the abuse that they went through? We can have understanding and compassion. Not get sucked in, right? To have understanding and compassion, that's a victory. But not to deceive ourselves that, oh, they're completely innocent. Like we're all innocent, but we're, none of us are. But we all are, but none of us are. Well, we need to look at that. See, beyond that deceptions, that we had to dehumanize even our abusers. And then we're putting ourselves in that same place. So let's look at that. That's no secret, right? We can say reactional abuse. Still, no abuse is okay. No excuse for abuse. Sometimes that reactional is titled a reactional abuse. Maybe it's just that we're back to the wall and it's that fight to get away to safety. So it's not to abuse. It's not to control. It's to get myself to safety. What is that for you? Look at that in your own self. Or split right there. I see. Okay. There's the tops and bottoms on that. That's the thunder being. That's the usable energy. When we see that, we'll get that usable energy. Tap into that timing, right? Because then we're not going against the current, right? And sometimes we need to go against the current. Salmon does too to get up there. But it won't be forever. It's for now, not forever. Look at that. Divine timing. Divine timing, not our timing. Divine timing, not our timing. Right? And then we have the beaver building on that, too. We're building more healthier relationships. But we need to start, begin within. Know that we are worthy of that. That we deserve that. Clearing out all that we're not. And you're left with all that you are. What is that for you? But again, that's how we see it in ourselves. Because we're breaking it down to the begin within. That's how we can change these policies and beliefs and whatever, by looking at what we believe in ourselves. And then what are we bringing to? What are we bringing to our work? What are we bringing to, right? Notice our own biases. We have to be in tune with and touch with our own biases. We have to acknowledge them. We all have them. We all have them. No exceptions. And it's important for us to know our own. What is our own Bias. Do we look at all oh, guys as this because we went through this with the guys, or do we, you know, a whole, a whole, a whole section of people because we had experience with one or two people? So we're going to put that across the whole board that all people that believe this are like that, all people that look like this are like that. What is that? Hmm. Doing that in ourselves, doing those deeper dives, and that sharing, the quickening, the boundaries. We must let down. Let hey. Is it somebody's fault for crossing a boundary if they didn't know that we had it? And now, if we put down those boundaries, are they getting upset that we have those boundaries? Maybe they were benefiting from them. So we need to look at that. Look at that. How does that go? Allure. Allure through opposition. 
right? Did we have boundaries or maybe we didn't? So then we can see. Mm, somebody just keeping with their hands out or are they doing something for themselves too? Right? Are we acting like, oh, we don't need anything, we don't need anything, but we really do? Are we trying to, I don't know, act like victims to get somebody to say, oh, let me help you? I don't know. Or looking at that we already have everything that we need inside. We don't need another human being to get that for us. We don't need another human being to tell us what to do. Look at the ants. They just go do their jobs. Find out what you're built for. And you know it. Right? So then you bring. And then you're there. You attract the things to you. That's what it is. You're bringing that to you. But, you know, if you keep fighting against, 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 it's going to bring on more of that. Show the universe you're grateful and it'll bring you more to be grateful for. That's the victory. Catching on. Okay, because we think, oh my goodness, uh -huh. I keep with the same relationships. Well, why? What is the common denominator in that? You. What are your cycles? What are you used to? What's that comfort zone in relationship? Because a comfort zone is not really a safe zone. It's just that you know what to expect from things that aren't safe, right? I know when this happens, then this is going to happen, right? That's the dangerous thing that happens when this happens. So I need to be with somebody like this. So I know where that switch point is. But it doesn't always stay the same now, does it? I don't know. What is that for you? Victory. So we already got all that boundaries. That's a good way to test whether somebody's truly, you know, Hey, respecting your boundaries, whether they respect you or not. There's a victory. That's the victory. We're looking. We're looking for that inspiration and excitement, that ace of pints. We're connecting to the divine. We're sitting, connecting to that still quiet voice inside because spirit doesn't yell at us. It doesn't drop a skid of bricks. Spirit is not hard on us. We are hard on ourselves and each other. And then we say it's spirit's fault. <laughs> Blame it all. Right? All the good stuff that happens in our life is our fault. All the bad stuff is somebody else's fault. We don't take responsibility for our own lies, for our own deceptions, for our own, you know, delusions. Whether we belong into somebody else's or created one for ourselves. But that's the victory when we see through those. And then we get excited by the truth. We get inspired and take action based on the truth, right? Because we'll hear that internal timing. We'll be in touch with that internal timing. Your own drum, your heartbeat, right? Those secrets will come out. It's not up to us to push them out there, to get everybody to believe that. Then we look like we're trying to prove something. Poo! Divine timing. That's when we take that action, right? And then to speak out, to share our stories. Sharing our stories. Sharing from that best of us. Sharing what helped us. Not pushing it on anybody. We don't push it on nobody, right? We see that bountiful harvest, right? We'll see what we have to share, our experiences, our lives. But we're not the only one that's gone through this. There's others too. And when we share, then we don't feel so alone. And others out there are going to see that they're not alone either. That we can all help each other. That we're all coming to the, ho to, to the house. <clears throat> To the house with full bowls. Nobody's coming in empty-handed. Nobody leaves empty-handed. We're all bringing our best in. We all leave with the best. Right? And we can share our stories. And sometimes we go into those circles and we talk. And we share those secrets because we can't hold those anymore. And we discover that, whoa, I wasn't the only one holding the secret. Oh my goodness, this isn't really a secret at all. If you get out there talking and studying, it's all out there. It's all public knowledge. Everything. You want to go study it, study it, instead of having an opinion on it. And look at it from all sides and all angles. But make sure you do it with that lining up, with that divine, with those truth tingles to help you to see, to know what is the truth. What am I reading here that is true? Because there's truth in everything. There's truth in every lie. There's always a little grain there. So you got to tell the truth for them to believe the lie, right? And hey, liars aren't stupid people. It takes intelligence to remember all those different paths you went down and to remember those lies. So let's 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 think rethink what we think these people that are abused and stuff like that are stupid people. They are not. They are not and they have extreme self-control. 
We don't think that they can control ourselves, right? Sorry, baby, I wasn't in control. This made me do it, but yet you see something out there and they can control it in another situation. They just can't seem to control it with you. What is that, right? And we start looking at ourselves, thinking there's something wrong with us. Because this person is so kind. So there must have been something with me that I brought out the monster in them. And then we start taking blame. Everybody's responsible for their own self. Nobody brings out the monster in you. Nobody makes you angry. And even us that have been abused, even if we don't like to be victims, we've been victimized. We need to acknowledge that for that little inside instead of telling that little, oh, toughen up, grow some thicker skin. Oh, you're too sensitive. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What is that? We see, right? We're expanding our knowledge that we're not the only ones. And we pass on that knowledge to our children, right? Look at this is where our food comes from. This is our sustenance. It's the earth. It's not these cities. It's not the dollars. We can't eat the money, okay? Or there's material possessions. We can't eat our boats and our houses. But we can plant these gardens, and we can have, we can be eternally fertile, just like the earth. The earth is eternally fertile, bountiful for all. It does not discriminate. The earth doesn't say, ah, 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 no, these people off my back. Okay, I only want these people walking around on my earth. What is that? Is that ever deepening love for yourself, for others, for this earth, for that connection that we have to all? To how miraculous healing can happen once we acknowledge it. 95% of healing is just having your story heard and witnessed, right? Ever deepening love for your personal journey, for your personal experiences and how you can share. You can share that and help somebody else going through something similar. But even if it's similar, it doesn't mean it's the same. That's why we don't go giving advice. We share from this is what I went through. And those that hear that, that need that message will get it because we don't know best for anybody else even our children we teach them how to tune in to their own internal timing we teach them to have boundaries and we respect their boundaries let them have their privacy let them have their spaces yes we have to right restrict some things especially online i've heard things that they're can't they're safer walking the streets at night than they are online so know those things Know those things, okay? And that's that ever-deepening love for that child as that unique being. Do you love your child only when they act like you or only when they act the way you want them to act? Or do you show them that they're worthy of that unconditional love just the way they are? Because it was creator that created them, not, 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 not human mom and dad, right? We're all spun in that womb by our creators. Whatever that is for you. Right, there ain't much that we do. Of course, mom's body does the most work for that, doesn't it? So we should honor and respect those mothers. And look at our mother earth. We keep cutting mama out of there. Look at how much, oh, praise a dad gets to show up for one school meeting. So we need to stop doing that. We need to stop over praising dads that get involved, right? And then over criticizing mothers. So... I don't know, that just came out of me from that. What is that all saying to you? Beautiful beings. Again, it all begins within. Look at within. Within, within, within. You get that usable energies. What are the deceptions you bought into? Right? And let it come to you. Sit in that still and quietness and see. Allow it to come up. And then what is it that you have to share? It's from those stories. Share those new stories. Pass on that knowledge. We're building a more peaceful world, more peaceful earth, but it begins within each and every single individual. Look at that. 20, 21, 22. We got her. We got her. Yes, we do. Love you all. Biggest heart hugs ever. Thank you for being you. Shine your light through in everything you do because you know it. This world needs you now more than ever. So thank you for being you. Shining your light through everything you do. Because if you're not you, the world misses out on that gift that is you. Awesome. For a wonderful, blessed day and week. And we'll see you for the Wild Unknown Wednesdays. Woo! MBT Mari. Well, when I'm watching another one, that's for you. Anyways. Love yous. M. Power, not overpower. Begin with N. Love you.